Hello everyone, we'll be presenting the control implementation on the insect scale flying robot that is developed in our lab. Um, our robot consists of a flapping robot unit with an artificial muscles which can generate lift force and by connecting four units our robot can balance off and fly just like quad rotors. Previously we mainly focused on the hardware side of the robot and has done closed loop control only for a hovering flight at a set point so in this project we aim to implement the trajectory optimization and stabilization we learned in class to our robot plan. In order to minimize the robot's power consumption from an initial point to a target point, we are using the direct transcription method to solve this optimization problem. Similar to most quadrilateral dynamics, the states of our robot include positions, relational angles, velocities, and angular velocities. The control input are four actuators' lift forces. The objective of our optimization problem is the mean of each time step's lift force compared with the hovering force. The idea is that we don't know exactly how long it will take for the robot to reach the target point, so it allows the optimizer to generate a trajectory that the hovering then costs more. We implement different fixed numerical integrators for the dynamics constraint. There are other constraints including initial point, target point, and the boundary. We use MATLAB's fminconf function to generate the trajectory. It is usually pretty slow when the number of time steps goes larger, so we do some interpolations on low resolution trajectory and feed it into the optimizer to get the high resolution one more efficiently. This is one of the trajectory we get from the optimizer. As you can see, it is very smooth. And here is a comparison of different integrators. The optimized trajectories are quite different with each other since the time step is not so small. Once we have the optimized trajectory, we can either utilize the LQR controller to stabilize it, or we can choose to use a geometric controller which takes in the position arrow and higher order derivatives of that. The higher order derivative of the nominal position actually corresponds to the nominal orientations. The main difference between these two controllers is that the LQR depends on the yaw angle, while the geometric controller does not. If we look at some simulation result, we can see when there are disturbances and there is no feedback stabilization, both position on the top and the orientation at the bottom diverge from the nominal trajectory. But when we have LQR controller, then the trajectory stay closer to the nominal one. When we even tune up the position gain of the LQR, then the position arrow is smaller compared to the previous one. On the other hand, the geometric controller has similar performance compared to the LQR. All the plots that you see here are from zero initial condition, but what if they are not? With non-zero initial position, the LQR can still stabilize the trajectory. However, with non-zero initial orientation, the LQR will experience a hard time stabilizing it. But for a geometric controller, it can handle non-zero initial orientation. And the best thing is, when both initial position and orientation are off, the geometric controller can still bring the position to the target point. Finally, we implemented all the optimized trajectory and controllers to the actual robot hardware. We use a motion capture system for position feedback and we implemented both LQR and geometric controllers with varying target points in 3D space. This is the result of our robot experiment. First of all, if we compare LQR with geometric controller, we observed that geometry controller performs better than LQR since LQR far exceeds the target point but geometry controller could make the robot reach pretty close. Um, we suspect this to be due to an inevitable position and rotation deviation in the initial state, which we confirmed that causes critical issue, especially to LQR controller in the simulation. We also tested that geometry controller works well with different target points in 3D space with longer trajectory. In summary, we introduced a optimization algorithm for the trajectory for our flying robot and stabilized it using LQR and geometry controllers. Then we finally implemented those trajectory and control algorithm into our flapping wing flying robot.